Welcome to Team YPWW, Lesson 2. I do not own the rights to this music. The topic is the promise of blessing. Our lesson text is coming out of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verses 1 through 11 and Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26. The memory verse for today's lesson. For the Lord thy God blesseth thee as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. And that's Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 6. Our lesson text, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verses 1 through 11. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban, and Hazaroth and Dizahab. There are eleven days' journey from Horeb by the way of Mount Seir unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moses spake unto the children of Israel, according unto all that the Lord had given him in commandment unto them. After he had slain Sihon, the king of the Amorites, which dwelt in Heshbon, and Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Astaroth in Edrei. On this side Jordan, in the land of Moab, began Moses to declare this law, saying, The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey, and go to the mount of the Amorites, and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and possess the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I spake unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. The Lord your God hath multiplied you, and behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are, and bless you as he hath promised you. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 26 And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in his season. There shall be showers of blessing. The key for today's lesson, what God has promised. Today's focus, the focus of this lesson is to drive home the point that God has promised to bless you. What's up? Wow, you are blessed. But can you imagine being blessed a thousand times more than you are right now? The key phrase in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 11 is bless you as he had promised you. Whether you realize it or not, God has promised to bless you. He wants to bless you so much that he has promised to do it. God has promised to make you a blessing. He has promised to send showers of blessing. Have you experienced some type of drought in your life? Has anything of value dried up? If so, you need a blessing. The good news is that God has promised to send you showers of blessing. And the point is, showers of blessing can be yours, but you must sense the need for them. You must desire them. You must ask for them. However, 
you must ask for them in faith. In Mark chapter 11, verse 24, Jesus says, Therefore I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. A key word here is believe. Another key word is receive. These two words are connected. They are related. If you truly desire showers of blessing, believe and receive them. Now the homework for today's lesson. Question one. God has blessed you, but what would your life look like if he blessed you a thousand times more? Question two. What do you think about the promise in Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 26? What comes to your mind when you hear the phrase showers of blessing? Question three, read Galatians chapter three, verses 14, 16, and 26. What does it personally mean to you to be the seed of Abraham and an heir according to the promise. That is the end of our lesson. Continue to study. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.